One of the most popular themes of our time is of the self-conscious and self-aware robot. This is not just for science fiction fans, but even the most famous and outspoken futurist of our time, Ray Kurzweil, he proposes that machines will one day become self-conscious. And my prediction is we will come to accept entities that are not biological uh, as conscious. Okay. So Ray Kurzweil believes that one day we will accept non-biological entities as conscious. Is this really our future? Let's explore the Turing test as we currently know it. Alan Turing, considered the father of the modern-day computer, proposed that one day computers will become so intelligent you won't know if you are talking to a person or a computer. This is the basis of what is called the Turing test. A human tries to guess whether he or she is having a conversation from another room either with a computer or a person. The problem with this test is that they are testing whether the program can fool a person and not whether the machine is self-aware. So Ray Kurzweil holds the position that when a computer becomes sufficiently complex like a human brain it would spontaneously be able to become self-conscious. Ultimately, Ray acknowledges that you will never know if a machine actually is self-conscious or simply mimicking self-consciousness. I would actually maintain that there is no scientific way to demonstrate that an entity is conscious. It's only apparent to itself. I have a new Turing test. It involves an easily learned skill that humans can do which is likely not possible for a computer. Why is that? The skill involves compassion, intent, imagination, and body awareness. Here's the test. If you can successfully untwist pelvic and occipital torsion of a person from another room without suggestion, it's a person. If a machine can do it without any human intervention, it passes this test. I demonstrated this skill by simultaneously untwisting the pelvic and occipital torsion of a stage full of people during a keynote address at the University of Hong Kong. I teach it in my latest book, Quantum Touch 2.0, and describe it in more detail in a video called The New Human Movie. While this is a little-known human ability, it is an incredibly robust phenomena that is visibly apparent better than 95% of the time. You can measure it manually or see the impact of it using 3D scans on the occipital ridge. There are many implications to this, such as there are phenomena that do not fit into the mechanistic model of reality, the mind is not confined to the brain, and that energy healing is real. I'll be happy to demonstrate this to any and all interested scientists, even hostile and skeptical ones. We can test it as many times as you like, since the phenomena is highly robust and easily measured. Further, I'll train your undergrads to do this in my absence. I welcome your doubts and your criticism. However, to the closed-minded skeptics who believe the slanderous and ignorant bullshit on Wikipedia and some other skeptic sites, there can be no possible discussion. Those who criticize out of total ignorance are faith-based in their approach. They have absolute faith that their assumptions about reality are the final truth. Only an ignoranus will judge something they know absolutely nothing about. To those, I recommend the site debunkingskeptics.com. I've presented a new Turing test and welcome all serious inquiries. Random hateful messages will, however, be ignored.